Welcome back to your Aviation News Channel. Today we start with a flight declaring emergency on approach to Toronto Airport. Earlier this month, a concerning incident occurred during a typical flight from Winnipeg to Toronto when the flight crew declared an emergency while approaching Pearson Airport. Flight PD-424 operated by Porter Airlines took off from Winnipeg Richardson International Airport around 12.45 p.m. local time on March 6, according to data from the flight tracking website FlightAware. As the aircraft descended towards Toronto, the crew reported electrical, nose wheel, and braking issues, declaring an emergency as stated by the Aviation Herald. Fortunately, the crisis was swiftly averted as the aircraft successfully touched down back at Toronto Pearson Airport at approximately 3.50 p.m., according to the Canadian TSB. The flight crew requested runway 5 for arrival at Toronto Pearson Airport, landed safely, and stopped on the runway for inspection. Subsequently, the aircraft taxied to the gate under its own power. Now, pointing lasers at airplanes is highly dangerous potentially blinding pilots and causing permanent eye damage. It's illegal in many countries and can lead to severe legal consequences. This reckless act increases the risk of accidents, endangering lives both in the air and on the ground near airports. I say this because during a fireworks festival in Mexico, a passenger aircraft was dangerously targeted by multiple green laser beams as it flew over the annual National Pyrotechnic Festival in Toltepec. Video captured over the recent weekend depicts the aircraft engulfed by green laser beams. Social media users criticized the festival attendees' actions, with one stating, what's wrong with people? This is incredibly dangerous. Another questioned, would they still find it amusing if they were passengers on that plane? The annual National Pyrotechnic Festival in Toltepec celebrates the area's importance as the center of Mexico's indigenous fireworks industry. Drawing up to 100,000 participants, the festival features intricate firework showcases and vibrant processions. It's unclear whether Mexican authorities are investigating the footage or if the airline involved has filed a complaint with air safety regulators. Now, moving on to Australia. Qantas pilots successfully landed a plane with only one operational engine, and the airline asserts that the landing was conducted safely. According to the West Australian, Qantas pilots accomplished a successful landing of a flight traveling from Melbourne to Perth in Australia, despite having only one operational engine. The airline informed the publication that the pilots manually shut down one engine to facilitate the emergency landing. Qantas Flight Q, FF781, operated by an Airbus A330-200, encountered engine issues as it approached Perth. According to the report, Qantas engineers are currently examining the aircraft. Passengers reported hearing a loud noise and experiencing shaking on the plane before the attempted landing in Perth. Engine failures in commercial aircraft are uncommon, with an average failure rate of 1 per 370,000 flight hours for jet engines.